Will the US raise interest rates again in June? What did CZ share in the Binance AMA? If you're interested in knowing more about this, please keep watching. Bybit is one of the best exchanges I've ever used. It provides great market depth, a smooth user experience, and an impeccable interface. Click the link below, complete KYC, and deposit 100 US dollars. Then, you will immediately receive a 1000 US dollars worth of Bitcoin contract position as a gift. How does it work? Simply click the link below. Register, complete KYC, deposit 100 US dollars, and then choose whether you want a long or short position. They will set up a 1000 US dollars worth of Bitcoin contract position for you. If the price fluctuates by 10% in the direction you chose, a 10% profit, 100 US dollars, will be directly deposited into your account, which you can withdraw. Now, let's take a look. We'll start with this news from CNBC, a highly reputable media outlet in the United States. I personally also refer to their news, especially the recent changes in the US fundamentals. How will it go? Will we really not have another rate hike in June after the last one in May? Will this round of rate hikes come to an end? Let's take a look at CNBC's report. Dallas Fed Reserve President Logan said that the current data doesn't justify pausing rate hikes yet. Let's see his viewpoint. Okay. First of all, she mentioned some current economic data, such as the Fed's expectation that inflation can be maintained at 2%. But are we currently at 2%? Clearly, we are not. The current CPI data is at 4.9%, which was announced not long ago. In terms of the Fed's monetary policy, aiming to control inflation in the long run at 2%, there is still a gap. Looking back at the past year, they have raised interest rates numerous times. The interest rate hiked every time. There have been over a dozen rate hikes in the past year. However, the extent of interest rate cuts during this period has been limited compared to the ultimate goal of 2%. Let's take a look. While noting some progress in bringing down inflation and cooling the labor market, Logan said that the Fed still has work to do in achieving its goal for price stability. Logan is a voting member of the rate-setting FOMC this year, so she has a certain decision-making power. Certainly, they make decisions through voting. She emphasized that the decision ultimately will be based on inflation and employment data. Their ultimate goal is 2%, which has remained unchanged from the past. The goal is 2% all the time. However, if the US doesn't continue to raise interest rates or maintain the terminal rate for a significant period, I believe it will be quite difficult to reach the Fed's 2% target. It's going to be difficult. Let's take a look. The next FOMC meeting will be held on June 14th. This is based on US time, not GMT plus 8. It's June 14th, based on US time. Currently, most people believe there won't be an interest rate hike and that the previous rate of 5.25% will be maintained. You can see that the number of people expecting a rate hike of 25 BPS has increased significantly compared to last time. Reaching 44% just two or three weeks ago, it was still in the 20 to 30% range. It has clearly risen. In general, people are more optimistic about the Fed's monetary policy. Going forward, most people believe that Fed will start cutting rates in November at the end of this year. However, Powell has explicitly stated that they will only consider cutting rates in 2024 next year. So, I believe the current data is somewhat optimistic and the market sentiment is still optimistic, although it has slightly declined compared to some time ago. It's slightly declined. Looking at the charts, we can clearly see that people still have a certain level of optimism about US monetary policy, perhaps even more than the actual situation warrants. So, I think there are still significant variables at play. Let's look at the next interest rate meeting. The next meeting will be on June 15th at 2 a.m. GMT plus 8. We can also provide a live stream for everyone at that time. Actually, there's still some time, about a month before the next meeting. Now, let's take a look at what CZ shared during the AMA on Binance. This AMA took place on the evening of May 17th. 
At 7.30 p.m., I listened to a part of it, which lasted about 50 minutes. If your English listening skills are good, you can also listen to what CZ talked about. Well, during the AMA, what caught my interest was his discussion about Pepe. He didn't specifically talk about meme coins. Binance has listed Pepe, a meme coin. Of course, Pepe has been listed on many exchanges. Following the trend, CZ made it clear that he neither holds nor has a positive outlook on Pepe and Dogecoin. He prefers coins with value, which I agree with. For example, most meme coins or altcoins may have occasional sharp price increases, but it's very challenging for the average person to catch those opportunities. It's really hard. Even if you manage to catch a significant upward movement, the profits gained can easily be lost entirely, and you might find yourself continuously trying to buy the dip during the decline, only to realize that the price never returns to its previous level. CZ also mentioned Dogecoin. Pepe has recently garnered a lot of attention, but Dogecoin is one of the very first meme coins that make meme coins popular. He believes that Dogecoin should have disappeared a long time ago. These are CZ's exact words. I thought it would have disappeared a long time ago. So why has Dogecoin remained popular until now? It's because of Musk. It's CZ who said this, not me. CZ attributed it to Elon Musk, stating that Elon Musk has had a significant impact on boosting publicity, including several instances where the news originated from him. Let's make a comparison. In this current bull market, which can be considered a small bull run, starting from a low point of around 16,000 or 15,500, the price of Bitcoin has climbed all the way up to 30,000 or 31,000 effectively doubling in value. It's exactly a twofold increase. Now, let's compare the price gain of these meme coins or altcoins with Bitcoin's price gain. The intention behind buying meme coins or altcoins is often to outperform Bitcoin's price movement, as Bitcoin is known to be more conservative. However, let's observe and measure the actual gains. If we start the measurement from the same price point, let's say, November 2022. Okay, in November 2022, the price of Dogecoin started to rise, but its overall increase was not significant. It mainly experienced sideways trading within a box. Unlike Bitcoin, which has displayed a different pattern. Let's check out the Bitcoin chart so that clearly see the difference. This is a weekly chart, and this is the weekly Dogecoin price chart, too. Dogecoin's weekly chart shows a period of oscillation, fluctuating within a range of 70 to 80 percent since last year end. On the other hand, Bitcoin has been following a steady bullish trend. Had you bought Bitcoin at a lower price, you would have made a profit by now, with a substantial 100 percent increase, effectively doubling your investment. Therefore, in this current small bull market, I personally prefer to focus on Bitcoin. It is not until the upcoming halving period, especially in 2024 or 2025, that I would consider investing a larger portion of my portfolio in altcoins, including some meme coins. I might do it at that time, because I believe altcoins will gain significant popularity during that period. But now is not the right timing yet. Now let's take a look at Pepe. Personally, I haven't bought it, because I'm not into meme coins. I'm not familiar with its price fluctuations, so I can't make any judgments. However, you can observe that it has formed a beautiful head and shoulders pattern. As you can see, the left shoulder looks very distinct, and the head is well-defined. Now, the price is at the right shoulder, approaching the neckline. If the price breaks below the neckline, with significant volume, I believe Pepe will experience a significant decline. This is something to be cautious about, whether you're trading spot or futures contracts. You must be cautious. If it breaks down, the consequences could be severe. All right, thank you. You're welcome to like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the little bell button to show me your greatest support. Thank you so much. Bye bye.